Hey guys, my name's TSW and in this video I'm going to be going through Garalan 25 Heroic as a tank with some tips on how to tank him specifically as a warrior. But if you're a tank of any variety, hopefully this will help you out regardless. So on the pull, we've got our other warrior tank, going to be Heroic Leaping In. And you see that I barely make it into that um, the AoE cone on the floor. Um, it's very important that both tanks do soak this AoE. Um, or at least two people, um, it, ideally the tanks, because other people are going to die if they stand in front of it. Um, so that's like a really nice opener. We like That's what you want to do every single time you pull the boss. Um, you want to make sure both tanks are stood close to each other, because it's kind of hard on the pull to both of you stay in the uh, his front cone AoE. Because um, <clears throat> you saw I was very close to not being in it. Um, and you don't want to stand too close to the other tank, or else you will you know, have a pheromone switch early, and you don't want that. Um, also, one thing for, like, the whole raid, uh, make sure that, like, well, we, what, what we were doing to begin with was trying to get the, um, the debuff stack, the, um, shit on the floor, the circles on the floor. We were trying to get those into the corners and be very neat with them, and, you know, we had a few attempts where we'd, like, our raid leader was like, just don't, don't give two shits about where you place the the um, AOE on the floor just just run around the room essentially and that worked out a lot better uh, you don't have to focus as much on where you're planting the uh, the AOE on the floor and you could just run around when you had the pheromone debuff um, which worked out really well for us so you know if you are progressing on this and uh, like us you start off by um, trying to be very neat like you see that AOE on the right hand side we're not going into the corner with that before we were trying to like get right in the corners and be very neat and tidy but I mean afterwards like we did we gave no shits and we were able to get the boss um, consistently a lot lower than we uh, were when we were trying anyway um, back to tanking um, see so yeah, like on the pull is the only like, that's like the hardest part in my opinion um, the enraged timer isn't particularly uh, tight we had a f like at least one guy die and we were like 15 seconds away from the enrage, so pretty good. Um, but if you are having trouble with damage, or you just want to, you know, there's not a lot for you to do as a tank here. You just stand in front of the boss and get hit by his AOE. Easy mode, yeah? Like, you don't have to worry about anything else until phase two. And I'll get to that when we do reach phase two at 33%. So, uh, you want to do some damage, do you? Okay, well, this is how I was doing some damage because it's a bit boring if you're not trying to do something on this boss because literally all you have to do is stand from the boss. Um, so I've got Bloodbath and I have Dragon Roar. I found that these were best for this encounter. Our other tank went for Avatar, um, which is cool, but you know, personally, I, I prefer the Bloodbath and Dragon Roar. Um, but I think you had Avatar and Dragon Roar. Anyway. Um, whenever one of Gaolan's legs are up, you need to be damaging this and not the boss. Because you do extra damage to the leg and not the boss, which is cool. Um, so you want to be focusing on any leg which is currently active. Well, not the ones behind him, because <laughs> you got to be soaking the uh, the AoE. Um, but yeah, focus down the leg. You want to be prioring, shield slam, revenge, uh, spamming cleave. And then when you've got a free global um, that won't proc... Uh, Sword board, go for your uh, Thunderclap. When there are two active legs in front of him, this is when you can do lots of DPS. Um, use your Bloodbath and use your Dragon Roar. Also, one thing that a lot of people don't seem to use is Heroic Leap. Take a few steps back and Heroic Leap that mofo, because uh, you'll do double damage on one of his legs, and if there's another leg active, you'll do another damage. So you're already doing like four times as much damage, uh, and then you're doing damage on Gavilon himself as well, so you're doing a lot of damage. Um, you want to be spamming uh, Thunderclap every single cooldown when two legs are active in front of him, and just keeping uh, like deep wounds up, I suppose, um, on Gavilon when you're focusing the leg. So um, prio, well not prio, but like you spam Thunderclap every single cooldown when uh, you've got two legs to attack in front of him. And when there's only one leg, just use it when you've got nothing else to do. Uh, and just cleave the shit out of the boss. Um, and then when you have two legs, um, you can have some fun, pop Bloodbath and Dragon Roar. Uh, I got not necessarily greedy, but you know, I don't know. Whenever one leg was up, I'd use Dragon Roar and Bloodbath just because. 
Um, also try and time your uh, Berserker Rage with Dragon Roar and Bloodbath. If you're using Berserker Rage on cooldown, you can get two uh, Berserker Rages in. Uh, so we've hit phase three. Um, you want to be making sure you double pot here. I'm using, uh, I think I use, yeah, on this attempt because it's, it's the kill. And we've got the other warrior tank tanking. Uh, I'm using a strength pot near the end. If I was tanking, I would use an armor pot and a strength pot on the pull. I think regardless of what you're tanking, yeah, like you always use a strength uh, strength on the pull for this encounter at least because, um, you know, you're not going to die to begin with. But this phase, you, you can die. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just spamming out damage. Um, I could be using some defensive abilities for my rage, but you know I'm I'm fine. I'm also I'm using my intervene every single uh, cooldown. I am specced into uh, safeguard, so I'm safeguarding whatever, not intervening whatever. I'm using that talent um, instead of vigilance because as you can see I'm taking damage as well as the other tank. Um, and try and be like, I try and be quite vocal when I need healing. Like, I'll just be like, heal me now when I'm low on health. And like, I don't have last stand or something. But yeah, it's cool. Just rotate your cooldowns in this phase. Uh, just try and do as much damage as you can. Uh, if you are the guy tanking, just keep your shield block up all the time. And uh, yeah, it's a really reasonably, let's say, reasonably straightforward fight. Um, with regards to tanking it, it's not that interesting there's not a lot going on um in this last phase i will say if the boss is above three percent health you do want to kill the legs because um killing a leg will just drop the boss three percent health um, and you do extra damage to the legs so yeah do that um and yeah like good luck with go along um i'm gonna be uploading some more videos of small bosses on heroic mode so thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys later bye